The best Doctor Who companion is Frobisher. Frobisher? Frobisher. Who's Frobisher? I'm glad you asked. Now, if you clicked on this video, you fall into one of three camps. Who the hell is the big talking bird? All hail the big talking bird. And I know who the big talking bird is, and to be honest, I think he's kind of mid. If you're in camp one, enjoy the dopamine rush of having your fringe Doctor Who opinions validated by a stranger. If you're in camp two, get ready to learn about one of the best things the Hooniverse, trademark Disney, has to offer. And if you're in camp three, you're wrong. And probably a bad person. Picture it. The Doctor steps out of the TARDIS, ready for another mind-bending, morally ambiguous Jeez. adventure. And who's right there by his side? Frobisher, the ultimate detective, bartender, and murderer. Enemies of the Doctor had better watch out, because this shape-shifting Whiffadil can outwit them with a single quip and leave them questioning their life choices over a perfectly mixed Harvey Wallbanger. Or dead, fearless and pragmatic, this multi-form master of mixology engaged in lethal tactics when needed. As the henchmen of his arch enemy, Josiah W. Dogbolter, were quick to find out. Who's Josiah W. Dogbolter? We'll get to it. Frobisher's humble beginnings as a street urchin in a Zedon slum shaped the resilient and resourceful character we came to know and love. The harsh realities of his early life forced him into a cycle of deception, using his shape-shifting abilities to survive and make a living as a con man. His path took an unexpected turn when he encountered the Sixth Doctor, living incognito as Avan Taklu in the 82nd century. Drawn into a bounty placed on the Doctor by Josiah W. Dogbolter, see, told you we'd get to him, Dogbolter is a minor recurring villain in various comics, including one that's technically set in the Marvel Universe. He's your standard evil space capitalist who wants to capture the Doctor's hardest for standard evil space capitalist stuff. However, he's also the closest thing Frobisher has to an arch nemesis. Speaking of Frobisher, Frobisher infiltrated the TARDIS with intentions of cashing in on the reward like the sneaky little so-and-so he is. However, after a few bumps, scrapes, and a daring escape from Dogbolter, they realized they were destined to be bezzy mates in the comics and a couple of audios. Frobisher's decision to help the Doctor marked a turning point in his little penguin life. Oh, sexy sixies, unorthodox compassion, psychotic bravery, and complete determination to deny the existence of color theory resonated with Frobisher, forging a genuine bond that led them to embrace a life of time-traveling adventures, saving people, and murder. Speaking of murder, one of Frobisher's early adventures involved a confrontation with an alliance of aliens, previously defeated by the Doctor, including the illustrious Plink, who had the distinction of having been defeated once by each one of the Doctor's incarnations. It's like a game of roulette where you get punched in the throat no matter what number it lands on. Anyway, the alliance collapses, Plink gets splinked like Danny Pink, and the world's finest TARDIS team go on their merry way. This was a multi-Doctor story, by the way. But that's not important. Frobisher and the Doctor's adventures were chalky milk full of colourful characters like these. Take Dr. Ivan Asimov, a science fiction writer from the planet Sigma, Astra Bayless, an absolute scrub of renegade Time Lord, and the 10th Doctor, because he gets everywhere. But we all know a Doki Who companion just isn't the real McCoy until they've taken on everybody's favourite key figure in the court of Tsar Nicholas II, the Master. And would you believe it, that very thing happened when the Doctor landed in a penguin preserve was mistaken for insane and lobbed into a 72nd century mental institution. Frobisher and Perry team up to spring the Doctor in a good old fashioned jailbreak when they also fall into a trap by the Master. I already said that bit. Keep up! Frobisher disguised himself as a hospital staff member, escorting Perry through the institution. However, their covert mission was compromised by the teensy little detail that all of the other staff were Autons. However, all of this is part of a wider plot by the 10th Doctor. Seriously, that man is inescapable! In yet another multi-Doctor story that I may just cover in a future video, because it is, a uh... Wow. Anyway, T-L-D-R, Frobisher helped save the day with the power of violence, just like Big Ten would have wanted. However, these salad days would come to an end when Frobisher contracted monomorphia, a disease which confined him to the form of a penguin. Despite this setback, he remained an essential and resourceful companion, refusing to be defined by his newfound disability because, as stated, Frobisher is the best Doctor Who companion. The turning point arrived when Frobisher chose to leave the TARDIS, opting to embrace his role as a detective once more. 
host doctor, Frobisher now recovered from his monomorphia and running the bar Bishes in human form encountered the 12th doctor unexpectedly. This meeting marked a pivotal moment, bringing Frobisher's life full circle. For the 12th doctor had come with a simple plan. Take down Dog Bolter. It's like poetry, it rhymes. Posing as Chiyoko, a character with way too complex a backstory to explain here, Frobisher waited until a key moment and then took down Dog Bolter's henchman with great vengeance and furious anger, kicking off a chain of events that leads to Dog Bolter facing justice once and for all. Result! For a character that could have very easily been relegated to a one-trick meme, Frobisher has had a ton of development over the decades. He arguably has more growth than a lot of the companions in the classic series, from his early life as a street urchin on Xenon to his adventures as the Doctor's personal super-powered assassin. If you disagree, feel free to share your wrong opinion in the comments. But in this house, Frobisher is best bird, best boy, best companion, and to think! He accomplished all of this while naked. And if delving into the depths of Doctor Who lore is your thing, why not check out this video about how a failed American reboot of Doctor Who almost ruined the franchise forever. Imagine that. Bye!